Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and it's time for another Banggood.com review. Um, what I have in front of me is actually a rotary multi-tool in a very nice looking case, and this is on sale at Banggood.com for about £38. Now that price will vary day to day, uh, depending on currency and exchange rate and all the rest of it. Um, so I would encourage you to follow the link in the description below, and also look to see whether there are, there are any active discount codes because who doesn't like a little bit of money off. So what do you get in this kit? Well there's a couple of really cool things about this. You get the um, the actual multi-tool itself and the instructions and what I can tell you about this is it seems to be constructed quite nicely. Um, it's, it's got it's not heavy but it's got some good weight to it. The plastic actually feels um, rugged not brittle like some uh, the finish on it seems very good and what's nice is it's got a um, a graduated speed dial, not one which um, is stepped so you can choose the speed that you want, although let's face it most of the time you'll be working on max speed setting uh, unless you're doing some polishing where you might want to turn it down a bit or you're drilling plastics which will melt if you're not careful. Also in here which I really like is um, one of these flexible attachments. So this will allow you to stick this on um, vice up in the bench and then do some fine detail uh, work using this tip. Um, I mean, these attachments are very easy to pick up very cheaply, but it is quite a nice selection. It's quite nice to have a selection in here, um, you know, just because it's, it's good, isn't it? It's good to have something to get going with, even if you can pick up a load of them uh, quite cheaply when you're ready to get some more. So you've got your sanding um, discs here, um, quite a lot of those, you get some um, coarser ones here and these are the uh, little tools that you put them on. Actually what happens is you, you put the sanding disc on, you screw the screw down and the rubber expands and then um, grips onto the sanding disc. you got some uh, sort of sharpening grinding stones here you got some uh, cleaning, these are nylon cleaning brushes. Um, you've got a little sharpening stone there uh, going along here. You've got all sorts of sort of uh, detailing tools, which actually would be probably best put in something like this flexible um, tip so that you can do some finer detailing work uh, by hand. So that's quite nice, isn't it? Um, you've got a quite a, a good range of those here as well, so uh, all sorts of little things of polishing, grinding. You've got some um, drill tips there, very useful, uh, which go down to a really small size, that's about one mil I think. Um, I haven't measured it, but that's just by eye. Uh, you've got all sorts of other uh, little attachments, so these allow you to put on the grinding stones and the grinding discs. and. Um, and you've also got some buffing pads here, which are very, very useful. And they and actually got some little pots of uh, Jewelers Rouge um, polishing paste. Uh, I actually used a little bit of that earlier, hence why that's got a little <laughs> thumbprint on it. Um, and then you've got some thinner grinding discs there. You've also got um, some more little pots of grinding discs, some wire brushes for cleaning those stubborn um, uh, things with a bit of rust on, and some more kind of grinding stones which are fixed. Um, as you can see, glued in. So, I mean, you get quite a lot in the box. It also comes with some uh, different sized, um, I don't know what you call these, they're collets really, aren't they? But you chuck these up and you obviously have different sizes to allow you to grip different things. So um, if I was to use something quite thick, I would use like that, a collet something like this. And maybe if I was going to use um, Something very thin, then I'd want to use a collette which is thin. So it's all you know, it's all sensible stuff. Um, obviously, read the instructions. Uh, go online, read about using these kind of tools safely. Don't use any tool at all if you don't know how to use it safely, and make sure you wear the correct protection. Okay, so that's what you get. Um, I think that's that's pretty reasonable. But this is a lock sport channel. I think we should go and use this to make something good. So I reckon I'm going to use this kit to make some pins. Why not? Let's make some pins. Let's make some nice uh, security driver pins together 
um, we'll chuck up some brass tubing well not tubing brass rod and um, we we'll use a, a range of different tools um, here and cutting discs and, and the whatnot to make ourselves some security pins um, and that's actually a good test because uh, you want this to be centered and true so that um, your pins don't look all wobbly and messy. Okay, so we're probably going to go outside for this and then we'll come back and see the fruits of our labour at the end. Okay, so I've made quite a lot of different pins just on the fly. I wasn't really uh, thinking about it too much. But um, one of the things I want to do is to show how the flexible attachment works, because I think that's a, a major draw of, uh, of sort of this set. So um, uh, what we need to do first is undo this. There we go. And then, um, empty this out a little bit and then we'll chuck up the flexible attachment and I'll show you how that works and hopefully we'll uh, use it on um, one of the little hollow pins I just made to show you how you might want to use it to do some fine detailing work. Okay, back in one second. Okay, so what I've done is I've attached the flexible attachment and this end chucked into the handheld tool is one end of the flexible attachment. In um, my other hand, I've got um, a, well, it's a scribing tool. I'm going to use it as a deburrer in uh, this flexible attachment. And I've got a bit of tube that we made earlier, just there, which I'm going to just chamfer and deburr. So, um, and of course you take have to take this little collar or collet or collar off uh, the tool to get the flexible attachment going. Let's turn it on and quickly do a little deburr, just to show that the flexible attachment works as you'd expect. Okay, that looks pretty good to me. Cool, all right, let's uh, go inside and do a wrap up and I'll show you the pins we've made. So we're back inside and um, you can see these pins which I made very, very, very quickly, not with too much care. And um, I, hope you, I hope you like them actually. Um, so we've got a little deep spool there, a mushroom pin, um, a multiple spool or barrel pin, a nicely serrated pin and this is a little T pin which we made. Um, as you can see they're all very even um, they're not uh, wobbly and that's because 
the the rotary tool was actually very stable and centered so we don't have wobbly pins there which is actually really nice so what's my overall conclusion I mean I I use tools like this a lot I never thought I, I would when I first started lock picking but now I don't know what I would do without one genuinely I mean uh, I use it for pick making and key making uh, for polishing things for fixing locks for making pins um, and whilst I can't really talk about the longevity of this because I obviously need to keep it for a long time to be able to tell you that um, it seems to be really well built um, really well equipped it feels good it works well it's not too noisy um, I, I don't know really what else I can say I, I think it's a, a really nice um, uh, rotary tool and I've enjoyed using it and I hope you have enjoyed this review okay I'll see you next time